I need to be focusing on these guys. Go away. Oh, shit. The focus. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are replanting our garden. And uh, then we're going to go do our first Tier 3 quest uh, in this episode. That is the plan, anyway. Uh, so let's see here. I had a problem with the garden where the rows that were closer to the shore stopped growing. I was waiting for it to grow and waiting for it to grow and waiting for it to grow, and then I realized what happened was it apparently used up the water along the shore, which I thought was a little bit odd since it's all coming from the lake. Um, so what I ended up doing is moving everything out further to see if that will hopefully, you know, fix the issue. Um, so I think I have all the seeds that I need. Oh, we needed to make some goldenrod seeds too. Uh, I don't have any fertilizer left. So yeah, we'll just do one more of these. And I also you know, made some chrysanthemum too. Okay, so uh, let's put all this produce back in here for now. Actually, let's grab potatoes, onions, uh, corn, potatoes, onions, corn, uh, tomatoes, which we have, and carrots and cabbage, which we have. And we have coffee, too. Okay, and then we'll grab the... Uh, all of the rotten uh, meat that we have, which is, I guess I put that in here because technically we're using as food as gross as that is. Um, we also have another bug refill to do. So let's grab that too while I'm thinking about it. And we'll see how many um, hobo stews we can make <clears throat> uh, with what we have. Okay. So we were able to make a pretty decent number of hobo stews the last time. Um, I've got three boiled water there and 12 of that. So let's just turn all of that into boiled water too. Oh, I got 10 right here. Okay. I actually like to kind of hang on to some of this murky because we might need to make more concrete and stuff. Okay, so we have 13 of those. And I think I have all the ingredients that I need to make hobo stew. So let's go here, and we'll put a little bit of fuel in there. Uh, what are we missing? We are, oh, we're missing animal fat. Okay, now let's try it. There we go. So we can make a total, oh, look at that, you guys, beautiful. <laughs> 12 hobo stews, oh, that's awesome. I'm going to make a couple baked potatoes, too, because those actually give you uh, a stamina buff, so it's great for mining. And, oh, man, that is wonderful. Uh, does corn on the cob give you a stamina buff? Eh, it burns a jar, though. I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, we have lots of coffee, too, that we can use to make, um, well, coffee. <laughs> um... But I need, I'm need i going to need more water jars for that. So we might end up having to turn this into boiled water too. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. I'd like the, I'd like the coffee for mining. Uh, so we need to make boiled water. Okay, let's put all this produce back. I'm going to need to do something about my food situation because as you can see I'm out of space here uh, so these are all the seeds we're gonna go plant right here we still have an extra boiled water left over which we'll use to make coffee later okay, let's put that back in there nope it's not what I want you to do just kind of organizing everything here so these are all the seeds that we or have to plant. So let's run down to the garden and do that first. Then we'll go over, talk to the trader, get the next uh, tier, tier three quest, and then head out and do that. I'm gonna try and take something to the west or the south because I'm almost out of gas. Uh, what you see in the tank there is all I've got. So I mean, looks like I probably could stand to repair the mini bike too. Oh yeah, the dumb, the stupid game spawned those bears and I hope they keep their distance. But as you can see here, 
this little groove, everything on the left of this stopped growing because, uh, you know, apparently it ran out of water or something. So uh, what I did was I just extended the, you know, the these little dikes or whatever you want to call them out even further. So we still have 20 rows from that point to here. And hopefully, you know, that's all we needed to do to get that to cooperate. Um, okay, so we want to put this one copy seed there. We have one wheat seed left, and then we have 20 of those. Okay, so everything from here on over, except this one lone cucumber seed plant, is has 20 plants. All right, now um, let's grab these strawberries. We're getting close to a full row of strawberries here, or closer, I guess I should say. Um, so we'll put those there. The strawberries, uh, I'm really looking forward to in particular because we can use those to make fruit salad, uh, which is going to be great. Okay, we got lettuce here. Lettuce we can use to make like green salad, like dinner salad or whatever. Acting kind of weird there. Okay, cool. So those are getting close to... To 20. Uh, what do we got left? Uh, we got pumpkins and aloe. Let's get those down. And we also have one more goldenrod. So I'll put the goldenrod there. The aloe. Come on, bear. Get the hell out of here. Put along here. There we go. We got a full row of aloe. And we should, this should also give us a full row of pumpkins. Beautiful. I'm hoping this stuff in this back row will kill, still grow. I mean, water's, water comes to there and there and even further back there. So um, this corner might be iffy, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, what's left? Uh, we just have, just have this chrysanthemum. Okay, so since we don't have a full row of that stuff, I'm just going to plant it out here for now. Oh, looks like we need to hoe that one piece there. Where is my hoe? There it is. There we go. Okay. So garden's replanted. We'll just see how it does, you know, now that I've moved it out further into the lake. The thing that's a little weird about this is, the, you know, the shore of the lake came all the way around through here at one point, but apparently I altered things when I, you know, added the dirt and stuff. Okay, let's go. So we need to really be um, working on getting, uh, you know, spoiled meat because as gross as it is, <laughs> that's the best food we can make right now. So we got all the veggies for it. We just, uh, you know, the thing we're, we're likely to run out of more than anything else is the spoiled meat eventually. So we got to be hitting those gut piles, you know, plus we get the animal fat and the bones and the other stuff that's useful out of that, uh, too. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and look in here. We got five hobo stews. Oh, man, that's just, I can't tell you how good that feels, you guys. Oh, we ran out of fuel. Uh, let's get some more coal going in here. So let's see, we need six, seven, eight, we need nine-ish minutes. Let's just do ten. To finish those guys out. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about our food scenario. Some of the things that I'm not really using a lot of, like these chickens and bees and the pine seeds, anything you know that's that I'm not using on a semi-regular basis, I need to pull out of there and put somewhere else. But I gotta make another storage box for that. I'll worry about that later. That stuff I can do at nighttime. Okay, let's put this coal back in here and. Um, I'm just going to, I guess I'm just going to stick this water in here for now. And let's go ahead and have a hobo stew. We get a, a decent amount of water from the hobo stew. So that'll get us back up to probably around here. And it should get our food all the way back up. Okay. Let's go. We'll come, come back and get that. Let's go get the quest from our boy. Uh, we don't need to take the hammer or the hoe with us whilst we're questing everything else. Uh, we don't need the advanced repair kit either. 
we'll take with us. Let's wear those. Oh, I was going to make some more shotgun shells, too. Um, let's get some buckshot going here. Okay, and then we'll just grab three stacks of lead to smelt back into here. And I have a little bit of buckshot in here, not too much. We got plenty of gunpowder. So we'll just get these. Oh, I made a, some buckets too, because I thought maybe I was going to have to, um, you know, haul some water but I'm not sure here let's just let's just put these in there for now I might not need them we'll see okay put this back in here let's go talk to the trader grab some more of that stuff now ideally if the you know if we can make enough hobo stew to last us between harvests that would be ideal it probably won't but Again, the thing that's likely to run out first is going to be the, the spoiled meat. Okay, let's go in here. All right, Trader Bob. Um, you got the special job option. Okay. So, all of this is northwest. Can you do me a favor? Trader Hugh. Okay. I look forward to um, but I want to do an actual tier three. So, you've got one to fetch it clear to the west. Yeah. Survivor House A. I don't know what the hell that is, but let's do it. Because West is perfect, because we got to go that way to get gas. Shut up, Zombos. So this is a clear and retrieve. We should get maximum points for this, but it's also going to be kind of a pain in the ass to do, but hopefully we can survive it. One thing I need to do too is I need to put my um I need to put my bedroll down. The the reason I don't like to do that is because then I forget and then you know um one problem that can cause too is it disables this one and then we could get spawns up here. Not that that's a big deal. We could handle them probably as long as they're not radiated. But we don't want to be you know ten miles away from home and die like happened to us when we were doing that Mickey D's quest. No, thank you. Yes, we'll put that in there for now, too. That's a lot of zombies down below. Okay, let's grab some more buckshot. Uh, we're going to need to be on the lookout for paper, too. Okay. Okay, we got to get going. We're running out of daylight here. So I'm going to leave the fish here since we now have the hobo stew to save us a slot. Uh, we want to take the axe. Uh, I guess I'll take the, the shovel just because I don't know why. If I decide to take a buried treasure quest, right? <laughs> oh, did that just do another one? No, I didn't. Okay, let's get out of here. We got to stop and get some gas first, so we'll just stop at the the closer gas station and that should be enough to get us by for now. Okay. I am not familiar with this place. It's jammed. Break it to open. And we have to clear and retrieve here. So let's go ahead and just start the quest now because there's no, no double looting anyway. She smacked us. We're going to have to um, get our katana repaired here pretty soon. Actually, I'm probably just going to make a new one because if we repair this one again, we're going to lose... Um, are you going to bleed? Yeah. We're going to lose uh, a mod slot on it anyway, so we'll just have to gather some more steel. As usual, let's see if we can get the satchel first, just so we get that part out of the way. 
How are we supposed to go in here? From the top? There's a light there. Do a little parkour up this way, I guess. All right, let's get ready for vultures. All right, where's the light leading us to now? Over here? Um, okay. Here's Biker Billy. All right, let's see if we can get a preemptive. Oh, son of a bitch. I forgot my freaking pipe bombs again. I wanted to bring those with me. They can come in handy. They, they do. Is there anybody behind this one? Nope, that one seems to be okay. Alright. Can we get a preemptive off on you? There we go, right in the noggin. Awesome. What are you hitting? Give you a bleed. Let's get our crossbow bolt back and sledgehammer sandwich. Okay, we got a dude right there. Nice. Okay, let's head on in here. That guy's alive. Well, not alive per se, but you know what I mean. All right, let's see if we can get a sneaky on him. Right in the nuts. Oh, you're not happy about that, are you? Probably aren't happy about that either. Ooh, is this floor going to give out? It doesn't look very safe. Nurse Nancy. Right, I'll give you a cut on your knee. Oh, she feral, too. Let's let her bleed. <gasps> Shit. The bubble hair. Okay. What I'm gonna do is... No, not that. Okay, we have a creepy crawly. We've got a normal Darlene. She's not feral. Oh, you weren't happy about that, were you? Can't hardly blame her, though. Okay, we got football player's attention. Let's get a bleed on him. Somebody else down there, too. these guys coming from all right um I'm gonna what time is it it's 1927 yeah it's getting late let's look in here and see if we can find a backpack upgrade nope all right I'm gonna go back actually go back outside and lay the the bedroll down I forgot to do that well, look at you man hurting yourself on spikes helping me out Nice. What you got in there? Okay. Some water and stuff to sell. Yeah, let's uh let's put this down just in case. You never know what might happen, right? There we go. Since we're here, we might as well offload. Well, we don't have a lot of stuff to offload. 
Uh, we'll scrap that and toss that. Don't care about you, crawler. Okay, let's go back through here. I want to get that satchel. What do we got? Uh, okay. Man, I wish I would have brought my pipe bombs. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Okay, we got a cheerleader coming from that way. I should probably leave all this stuff intact. Let's deal with her. We're getting better at the sledge. Um, you know what we could do with these guys? Is soften them up a little bit anyway. Yeah, come right on out the door there. Right into the spikes, you guys. That's exactly what you need to do. You gonna come up here and be a problem? Oh, shit. I'm glad I checked this thing. What the hell? I can't get up there. I need to be focusing on these guys. Go away. Oh, shit! The focus! Okay, time to take this, like, right down. Oh! That was tactical, man. The outside zombies were distracting me so the inside zombies could get me. Bastards. Okay. Let's get rid of these so we don't hurt ourselves on them. Okay, let's make sure everything's reloaded. Our assault rifle saved our bacon that, on that that deal. Uh, we'll bring these down to here. Well, let's go ahead and eat. Because we need to. And that'll actually help us a little bit too with healing back up and stuff. Okay. Um. So we haven't... Man, I wish I would have had brought my pipe bombs. I really, really wish I would have brought my pipe bombs. Okay, so how should we play this? Let's go back out through here. I'm going to put that there and that there for the moment. Now, let's pull. Let's get this shit out of the way. Let's pull Marlene over here. If we can, you know, get them like one at a time and not all at the same time, that would be good. Okay, give me my crossbow bolt back and die. All right, now, can I pop the biker? We are running out of time, man. See, if I would have brought my pipe bombs, we could have taken care of this easily. Okay, let's see if we can pop him. Nice! Nice. Can you not get over here? Come on, dummy. All right, can I get to him over here? Okay, let's see if we can get a bleed on him. There we go. There we go. Maybe what we'll do is we'll put a frame down so we can actually stand up here and get to him. Okay, he's he's dead. He'll bleed out. Nice. Okay, so this is working out okay. Let's pull you All right, you did let's get the business guys next oh shit I thought I loaded it <laughs> okay 
We're going to have to stand up and hit him. Oh, we're hitting the Kim bench. Hmm, can we hit him? Nope. It's going right into the Kim bench. Okay. Let's see. Can we get over here? Okay. We should be able to hit him anyway. What the hell, man? <laughs> okay, here. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. Now we should have a clear shot. See how... How much easier this would have been if I would have brought my frickin' uh, pipe bombs? We could have killed, like, all of them in one fell swoop. That's right, we're getting the job done. That's the important thing. This might tag the end of the chemistry station. Yeah, I figured it, figured it might. Okay, well, if it's just him, we can deal with him. He's not feral anyway, so let's come back in through here. And uh, I guess we'll pick these back up, and then we'll go in and around the corner. Uh, Got to get the satchel. And there's still more Zeeks to clear, too. But we are running out of time. Okay. Let's go. Satchel. Where's the satchel? Oh, shit. Feral. And we got a Darlene here. Okay. Damn. All right. Where the hell is that satchel at? There it is. Yeah, right there. Okay, so we got that done. Um, we just need to find the rest of the Zeeks. We need to find them quick. If we can get, like, upstairs, though... Um, I, you know, I'm not even going to mess with those right now. I know I should, but... Get the hell out of the way. Okay. We can... I mean, we can check all this loot later, but... What the hell? Okay, is there an upstairs in this place or not? Yes, there is. Okay, so how do we get up there from in here? That's the question. And more importantly, how can zombies from the outside get up there when nighttime rolls around? I don't... I'm not seeing an obvious way to get up there. What are we missing? Is there a ladder, a stairwell in here? I mean, I know we can go outside and just, you know, climb up the outside. You know, go that way. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here. Okay. Yeah, I see the plug there, but we got to get up here. And secure things up here so zombies from outside can't get to us. And then what we can do is just take our time on the upper floor. And we're going to probably have to spend the night here, I'm thinking. I put... Oh, I must have put those there, huh? Okay. Yeah, let's pick these back up. <clears throat> yeah, I came, I came up here. I remember coming up here earlier if you guys are like a little baffled by that it's because i actually had to leave in real life for a while and pause the game and come back so that's why it seems like i should remember that but i don't okay that door's locked i think we're i think we're safe up here from anything coming from outside i think i hope 